Okay, so I think uh, uh, time has been passed, so we would like to start the SBUSTA open house webinar today, now. And uh, uh, in the program, uh, we are supposed to have uh, uh, welcoming remarks uh, by uh, Dr. Uh, Isha uh, from the Indian Embassy, uh, who was kindly supporting uh, the event, but uh, uh, she has got an urgent uh, uh, program and uh, she excuses uh, to uh, skip the joining the webinar today. And uh, also at the same time, we have a deep apology that our director also uh, is still in an urgent meeting and uh, uh, he may be joining later, but uh, please allow us to start the webinar today. And uh, first of all, uh, we would like to have a very uh, special uh, session about the startup ecosystem in India and the internal internationalization uh, provided by Dr. Suresh Kumar, president of ISBA, and also Ms. Poini Bhatt from IIT Bombay. And uh, first of all, uh, I would like to ask uh, uh, to uh, panelists to briefly introduce uh, their activity and the services about the ecosystem uh, in India and also the uh, global view also. So first I would like to invite uh, Dr. Suresh. Uh, thank you, uh, Yoko. And, uh, Good afternoon and good evening uh, for the participants from India and Japan. And at the uh, outside, I thank uh, the team Esposito from Japan for engaging with us with the Indian Steps and Business Incubators Association and also with IIT Bombay uh, for the outreach program on the uh, initiatives to scout and support startups in the space technology. Uh, I am the president of the Indian Steps and Business Incubators Association, ISBA, uh, which uh, has a network of more than 100 incubators supported by various uh, uh, central and uh, state government uh, uh, you know, supported incubators and also private uh, uh, technology parks and uh, incubators across the country. Our association is uh, about a 17 years old association and we continuously engage with uh, uh, various government agencies in policy making, uh, in building the capacity of the incubation centers, and also uh, supporting the startups through the incubation centers. I also head uh, the incubation center uh, uh, called PSG Science and Technology Entrepreneur Park, which has been located in southern part of India, a small town called Coimbatore, and it has been uh, attached with an academic institution. Uh, called PSG College of Technology. And so I have dual role here as an incubation center head uh, uh, for being in this industry for more than two decades, and also as the uh, head of the uh, Indian uh, Incubators Association. So with this small brief, uh, uh, I request uh, uh, Ms. Pony back uh, uh, to introduce it. Thank you, Suresh. Uh, it's a pleasure being uh, on this platform and talking to Indian as well as uh, um, uh, Japan participants from Japan, Japan also. Uh, uh, I manage this incubator at IIT Bombay, which is called Sign, and uh, our incubator is about 17 years old incubator. Uh, we offer typically start to scale up program to innovators as well as entrepreneurs. Um, there are grant programs and there are seed fund programs. And on top, like um, we are a physical incubator where we provide uh, infrastructure, including lab infrastructure for ready domains. Uh, in last 17 years, we have supported more than 170 startups. Uh, we have also supported similar number of innovators across our, our various programs. Uh, many, many of our startups have gone international. We are also managing several international programs with um, uh, uh, academia, with uh, governments, so even like uh, uh, um, foreign governments and their consulates. 
प्राइवेट एक्सेलरेटर प्रोग्राम सो वी मैंने सेवरल सच पार्टनरशिप प्रोग्राम फॉर इनोवेटर फॉर स्टूडेंट फॉर स्टार्टअप एंड देन वी वी ऑल्सो ऑफर सम काइंड ऑफ सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग सपोर्ट टू स्टार्टअप हु वॉन्ट टू कम टू इंडिया so these are the few things we do and we speak more as we go along yeah uh, so i'll go i'm tushar from uh, manastu space we are around 3 3 and 1/2 years old startup we are building a green propulsion system along with a uh, it bombay and we are developing this technology for a small satellite application and more details we can discuss as we go on. thank you I would like to ask uh, several uh, questions to uh, Miss uh, uh, Loini and also Dr. Suresh uh, before we uh, move to the SBUSTA program and experience sharing. Um, first of all, uh, uh, it's very impressive to know that uh, you are running this service for like uh, 17 years. And uh, I just wonder uh, how the startup uh, from the space uh, sectors uh like a like a changing uh from the beginning you started the service and uh, uh current uh, situation in india because uh, you know the uh s boost uh, from our view for in the s boost uh you know the s boost winner uh the tushar and ashdesh they are also from iit bombay and uh, also like uh, we had uh, other finalists uh, are uh, collaborating together with the Japan and the Indian teams and they were also wonderful and I believe that uh, uh, you are having a very uh, good uh, uh, program uh, for the ecosystem in India to support the uh, startups uh, but uh, I would like to specifically know like uh, how uh, the startups in uh, India uh, for the space sectors have been right so i think if you had asked uh, this question to me about 5 years back i think we were not there at all but in suddenly last 4 to 5 years uh, uh, entrepreneurship in space uh, sector is really emerging i think more than me uh, tushar can uh, share more details when when his turn comes but yes uh, so like uh, the we have uh, space research uh, Uh, government supported labs on the uh, in in the countries and they are also becoming very active so you know our space program under uh, isro is very very successful and isro is also like so have support for startup ecosystem they set up certain infrastructure where startup can actually experiment they have uh, a test bed facility created in some of the academia out there even government has started with uh, uh, promoting space and defense startup together and there are funding programs for them as well and uh, and most importantly i think there's a uh, uh, like you know entrepreneurs because this is not space sector is not very easy easy like you know uh, 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 domain or vertical to get into it like commercialization takes quite long time out there and out there entrepreneurs are also taking risk to enter in this space in fact we are personally invested so our incubator is invested in our space startup um, uh, tushar jadhav his initial uh, like um, prototype was supported by our incubator so uh, there are lots of interest in you know young entrepreneurs to enter in the space despite the challenges are you know associated with them So these are the few things, but of course, I think to share with also share more details. Thank you, and uh, uh, Dr. Suresh, uh, if you also have uh, uh, some comments about this question. Uh, as uh, Oni uh, rightly mentioned, the industry has been uh, uh, developing or the, the uh, startups in the space technology has been developing in the last five years. and the incubation centers also gearing up to uh, meet the needs of the uh, startups in the space technology and uh, we also uh, see youngsters are taking a lot of risks right even the gestation period from ideation to implementation and then commercialization and uh, uh, making uh, revenue out of it and making it a successful company is not that easy 
but the incubation yeah. centers are playing a key role at the initial stage in giving some kind of prototype fund and then uh, uh, helping them in reach to the stage where they can showcase their idea at a particular stage and can look at the other rounds of funding, second round of funding from other uh, investors. Uh, so the ecosystem is uh, building up and uh, like uh, uh, initiatives, grand challenges like this uh, as boosters, we should also plan in India and uh, uh, we should also uh, source the uh, startups who are putting there in this particular space and support for those startups and uh, build some concrete uh, initiatives to support them. Thank you. So, you know, the, as uh, Mr. Uh, Pony was uh, also like uh, mentioning uh, before, you know, the main player in the space sector uh, was in the public sector because, uh, you know, it requires a huge investment, but, you know, uh, in the process of the development, uh, you know, the, uh, the fund, you know, the, also the, the required investment is getting uh, decreased and also uh, there are more, and then at the end uh, resulting in uh, more industry also to be able to play. And uh, so uh, their uh, space program is getting more closer uh, and, uh, you know, so there are massive opportunity uh, for the both public and the private sector uh, to collaborate together. And uh, uh, from the academic view also, there are a lot of important uh, points uh, to be played. And uh, definitely uh, we would like to have uh, uh, more collaboration uh, between the public, private and academic sectors together to boost uh, more uh, interesting opportunity in the space sector. At the same time, like uh, you know, uh, the for uh, when people hear the space program, uh, they uh, tend to, you know, like uh, describe uh, the rocket launch and uh, satellite launch and the upstream sectors. Uh, but uh, there are a lot of opportunities in the downstream sectors uh, utilizing the space asset. Like a GPS is one of the. Uh, you know, space asset, uh, we are daily uh, appreciating uh, the contribution from the space program. And uh, I, I don't know like uh, uh, what kind of background uh, today's participants are having, but we, would, and uh, you know, I believe that uh, India uh, have a lot of uh, uh, innovative program and uh, they are very creative. So we would like to ask all the participants to make use of uh, uh, this opportunity to create their idea into the business. And uh, I think uh, like uh, if uh, there is a very good opportunity, even for the participants, if they have uh, any question to uh, Dr. Suresh and Ms. Poini uh, from the view of uh, ecosystem or like, uh, the advice, how uh, you can move forward uh, for your activity as a startup. Uh, I would like to welcome any question from the participants also. And uh, we actually, in the bottom of uh, the, this uh, Zoom conference, there is a, a section of Q&A. Uh, if you have any question, please click. And uh, we would like to receive uh, any questions. So, but there is no question from the participants. Maybe uh, later uh, we can uh, receive a, a question also. But uh, uh, so I would like to ask, uh, Another question, like a comment uh, to Dr. Suresh and Ms. Poini, uh, if you have uh, any advice or like a special message uh, to this uh, potential like a startups uh, who might be applying for the S booster. Yeah, so Suresh, you can get started and maybe after that, uh, your question, Suresh, and I can also briefly talk about how the Indian ecosystem is uh, supporting internationalization of startups. So we can briefly talk about that also, but on previous question, Suresh, you, may can, take, you can take that. Uh, so two, three points that I have in building the ecosystem for the space technologies. Uh, one, as you rightly mentioned, that uh, uh, there are opportunities in upstreaming and downstreaming and uh, like in the space technologies. So there should be a lot of uh, uh, awareness programs or outreach programs on the opportunity that is available in the satellite uh, or in the space uh, uh, area has to be organized uh, uh, across the startup ecosystem so that uh, 
the youngsters, the uh, graduates who are graduating out of the institutions will have to know what kind of opportunities provide and uh, what kind of support that is available uh, to the government and uh, other uh, agencies uh, to convert their brain. So, uh, so we should have the sessions on opportunities in uh, space. Uh, that's more important. Uh, second thing is uh, uh, engagement with an academic institution in developing the prototype and also engagement with an incubation center uh, will uh, help a lot for the startups. Uh, usually, the value of death will be uh, high in the startups life cycle, and uh, that is more uh, uh, in case of space technology. The gestation period is also high, and the uh, depth of the value is also high. Right. Uh, uh, so uh, we should have uh, specific programs and initiatives to uh, handle these startups who are taking their risk right, right from the ecosystems. Uh, and so there should be a uh, 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 strong engagement between uh, uh, government agencies, uh, the incubation centers, the academia, plus the organizations in the space technologies like ISRO and uh, other uh, organizations which are involved in that. That should be a deep engagement uh, which will help the startups to come out uh, uh, with their dreams in, into reality. So these are the two points that I have. One, to uh, create programs of, uh, on the opportunities uh, that's available in the uh, uh, space tech. And the second one is how to have a uh, seamless, uh, deep engagement uh, with the stakeholders who are engaged in this uh, area so that uh, the young generation can look this as an opportunity and uh, their uh, gestation period can be reduced or uh, they can easily uh, travel the value of death uh, smoothly. So these are the two points that I have. And over to you, ma'am. Right, if you have any points to add to. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, another thing is that actually um, uh, uh, we spoke about private public sector partnership. So that is one thing, yes, definitely. And it is happening that in this space, it is very critical because the entire infrastructure is in public sector and they are opening up gradually for the uh, startups and private sector. But also there is an investor interest is increasing in this space. So there are a couple of startups who have been funded by private investors, Angel Network, family funds, as well as uh, uh, institutional investors. So that is another thing that is happening yeah, in this space. So yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, it's emerging. We don't have too many, like, you know, cases that you find in other space, but it's emerging and it, like, uh, it's going increasing positively. Uh, uh, it, it's so true. Actually, uh, you know, the uh, for the judges uh, of S-Booster, there are several investors and that they are very uh, keen uh, to find a good opportunity uh, to invest. and. Uh, uh, we often extend abuse and uh, they strongly mentioned that uh, Asia, like India, have got a big potential uh, for the view uh, from the investment in the space sectors. And uh, I believe that uh, uh, in uh, various like angles of views, uh, there are bigger uh, chances uh, for the startups. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then there are like uh, some some initiatives that are happening, like where Suresh can start. How is by um, uh, enabling uh, international visibility of Indian ecosystem, and then a couple of programs that we run in international collaboration. So maybe Suresh, you can start on that. Yeah, as an association, uh, we are closely engaging with various government agencies and. Uh, uh, we are leveraging the bilateral agreements and bilateral programs that is there between uh, India and other uh, uh, countries. And uh, there are certain innovation programs like uh, BRICS, uh, where the association is involved in organizing the BRICS program on innovation and startups. And uh, uh, there are also other uh, programs. Uh, we have some engagement uh, with uh, Russian uh, and the Indian uh, based on the uh, ministry of bilateral programs and as an association we are trying to do this that passing on the information to the startups like what are the opportunities that is available for them uh, to have their uh, products to have market access uh, beyond the boundaries 
and as an incubation center we are also our association we are also closely working with other incubation centers across the asian region and uh, we are also the active member of the asian association of business incubators and uh, uh, our members are so uh, closely engaged with uh, the uh, other counterparts in the asian region so there is a potential for us to learn from each other their programs and schemes and so on. Uh, see, association with this booster is also an outcome of an engagement that uh, we have continuously with uh, the, uh, one of the Japanese uh, initiative called Asian Entrepreneurship Award uh, with the University of Tokyo. We have been engaged with the last five, six years. And uh, this also uh, helps us uh, to uh, expand our engagement with other initiatives. Also. So uh, we are continuously looking at the opportunity and uh, we are. Uh, uh, taking or we are communicating those opportunities to our incubation uh, centers and uh, through the reaching to that startups. Over to you. Over to you for you. So uh, at institution level or incubator level, we also run a couple of programs in like uh, um, uh, international, uh, like collaborative manners. So one uh, like one program that we have been running for past seven years, not seven years, but six years with Swiss uh, government and then innovators and entrepreneurs from each side, like uh, they come together, they spend one, one week in India, get, get exposed to Indian ecosystem. And when we say exposed to Indian ecosystem, we, we have some workshop and then we take them to their, uh, um, um, industry of their interest make the connection directly with the industry people or experts or legal aspects or medical regulators or those kind of thing and another week they spend in switzerland and there are several uh, cases that we have seen during this program that indian research uh, indian innovator and entrepreneur and swiss innovator and entrepreneur they come together and get grant in either in EU or in India, and they come out with a collaborative IP and those kind of things. We also uh, ran a couple of uh, programs with Russian uh, 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 private accelerator program where we took our incubate uh, our entrepreneurs from India to Russia and expose them to Russian market. So we had a uh, like collaborator in Russia, which was a private accelerator, and then they, they took forward that particular, uh, they facilitated market access in Russia. Uh, currently, we are uh, planning one program in, with a university in Canada, University of Toronto. And we are going to run, uh, uh, again, exposure, the program for students, not really entrepreneurs, very, very, like, you know, early stage innovator who are actually students and how Indian and Canadian ecosystem are working out and what are the synergistic area for both the sides. So this is what we are running. Like we have first event on, on in, in end of this month. So these are the few things that we are doing on international uh, uh, Front, in, uh, we also uh, support uh, uh, international startups who want to uh, uh, set up their offices in India, and then like they want to have parent and subsidiary, uh, uh, like you know, structure one in India and one in the, uh, outside India. So we had a couple of companies out in that space also. In fact, one of such companies that we incubated. It just last month, actually, it became a unicorn. And that was the first ever uh, unicorn from any academic center. So we also provide uh, like uh, uh, infrastructure and incubation support to international startups also. But there has to be some connection with Indian ecosystem. So these are the few things that we do like at incubator level. Okay, thank you. Ms. Poini, actually, uh, from the participant, we are receiving the question. It would be nice to help answering the question. The Swiss Russian programs, how do you select the entrepreneurs to participate and where would you publish about such activities? 
yeah so it gets public uh, actually it is always like you know published in social media and we put it on our website and all our on social uh, media platforms we we circulate we share with all incubators to share in their network also so that is how we go about uh, publicizing the information uh, selection happens on like uh, certain uh, so it's a very competitive we typically get uh, like anything between 300 to 400 applications and selection is only for 7, seven to 10 companies so uh, it happens definitely on competitive basis we have a independent we we uh, uh, jury who's, who who do, does this selection but mainly the maturity of the idea second thing is that in bilateral program we also see that there is a fit for the counterpart yeah so if there are innovators on both the side then there is more to leverage if there are similar proposals are there so maturity of idea or ip then there is a pro, uh, like you know fit for the profile from both the side and most importantly there has to be a interest in those domain for the respective countries like so you are talking about space tech and if we go to a country where they don't have a focus on space tech uh, we can't we there is not much that we can offer out of this program so we potentially may not select those companies so these are the three or four things that we look at thank you I think uh, uh, if you don't mind, uh, I also would like to uh, invite uh, uh, Tusha and Ashtesh from IIT Bombay because, uh, you know, they have a lot of massive opportunity uh, experience. Uh, they were from IIT Bombay and they have experience as booster. They were actually a great uh, winner from the S booster in 2019. And uh, also like, a, you know, like a, their growing speed is uh, uh, very fast. And that they are, uh, I believe that one of the successful like a startup uh, uh, go, uh, growing more. And uh, I would like to invite them uh, to share uh, their experience also uh, with the participants. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Point uh, and cabinet office for the program. And thank you very much. So I'll share a little bit about the story, uh, the S booster journey, as we are here to talk about the S booster. So I'll just share some of the journey and please feel free to uh, raise any questions if you have in the chat box and I'd like to answer as a, uh, as I experience in the Ace Booster uh, competition. So I'll just share a presentation, uh, just quickly go through what we do and some more experience of... Uh, so at Manus to Space, we are building uh, most efficient fuel and engine for satellite, uh, green propulsion system. And why we do it? Uh, just a moment. Yeah, so at Manus to Space, we are building a green propulsion system. I'll just open up the presentation whenever it is open. In the meantime, so we believe, uh, as everyone is talking about, uh, as Ms. Yoko sure. was, was, yeah, can you hear me? Actually, yeah, I can hear you, but uh, your presentation file disappeared. Uh, previously, uh, we could see your presentation file. I am just sharing it. It got uh, shut down because it, now you can see. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah. So we're developing a most efficient fuel and engine for satellites, so green propulsion system. Before we see what we exactly do, just in a moment, I cover that. Uh, why we do is what important is very much important for us. We believe space, uh, or the upstream and the downstream, a combination of both things has a potential to solve all the problems on the earth, or at least some part of all the problem: imaging satellites, internet satellites. Uh, those are just creating a revolution. So precision positioning system, weather monitoring satellite, and we want to do that safely and sustainably. To do that, we are uh, we are building a new propulsion system under which we have built new fuel, new engine to burn this fuel, and the new catalyst material. So it's a green propulsion system, what we call, and what we will sell is the complete propulsion system. And we are working closely with the. Uh, Indian Defense System, uh, IIT Bombay uh, for the research part, and we're also Shell company. So, uh, what does S booster for me for us has been for Manas to space? As S booster goes through a multiple two stages of uh, two stages, one 
you do the asia round where you qualify win uh, once you qualify the asia round then you go to the japan and then final round happens in japan so we won the asia round where we were the first uh, where we are except japan other asian countries were a part of that round and we won the first prize and then we were visiting we visited a japan uh, tokyo where they we had a mentoring session where they had a, uh, where as just had a multiple mentoring sessions by the expert people in variety of areas and also we had a visit to the different different uh, uh, facilities we visited the jaxa that is on the right side you can see that is jaxa facility the left side it is one of the startup japanese startups uh, i space they are building the ro- the moon rover so we got a chance to meet and visit those facilities talk to the people so that was very very fascinating uh, then again after that uh, the mentor from mentor from uh, esbusta team visited india and spent a couple of days with us you can see in center from japan he visited india and that was a great experience so we had a lot of fun with him and lot of you know brainstorming session lot of going through the pitch business model session so he helped us a lot of uh, refining the pitch presentation uh, connecting with some of the investors some of the mentor and some more food uh, some more photos on that from that visit and then the final presentation after the two round after the uh, visit to uh, the final round is where you actually preach to the jury members and we have a fascinating juries uh, all over the place uh, in japan and across the world who are juries and uh, from industries that jeko will mention about some of the sponsors so people from there representing them will be the juries and we were uh, and you pre- you get to pitch for a 5 minutes on the final presentation day and then you uh, in front of juries and then uh, question answer happens uh, where we and the special there in tokyo and then we won the award as a special jury prize in 2019 so that was a, that was a really interesting moment and then with complete team uh, complete jury juries and other team members who won the award had some of the other award and then finally one very favorite or uh, very favorite photo with the japanese astronaut for a lady japanese astronaut so she was one of the judging mentor judging uh, committee and some more fun where we visited another city for a conference related to space so as the sir team was uh, very kind to arrange that trip visit uh, to that conference it was related to space so that was very fascinating so for us uh, overall experience to talk about as booster was that three stage advantages that we got a lot of interesting uh, benefits so first connect so we are very fascinated about uh, we always wanted to get connected to uh, uh, japanese space uh, industry uh, including jaxa the private companies like ihi mitsubishi and startups like axel space since perspective that are growing at a rapid pace so we always wanted to connect that and through s booster and through cabinet office uh, we got a lot of contact we are continuously in a process of getting connected even after 2 years we are getting continuous support so that is a very very fascinating uh, support that we got from s booster and we are continuously getting so it's like you know you are part of a family s booster family once you are uh, semi final finalist or we if you win you are part of that family mentoring as i mentioned you have we got access to very fascinating two mentors who helped us to refine the pitch refine the strategy refine the positioning uh all of those things how to pitch at the uh, final final event and uh, and then after uh, that led to we winning the competition so that was very fascinating uh experience mentoring sessions feedback how you can say the funding of course the most and the at the end other points and the, uh, the prize money was very important for us at the time that help us to you know navigate through some of the difficult times that we had Uh, the uh, funding that we require, that we want the, the award prize that we want so in all s booster was a platform where we got to validate our ideas you know we are like somewhere in the small city uh, in the one of the cities in india you are developing some technology you never know whether it will be whether people in the world will use it and and for us uh, the s booster and getting a validation through one of the japanese uh, customers actually i'll say not just the customer but the customer was very important uh, milestone and we got to do that through as booster as booster so you know that was a very turning point for us and for us also personally and for family convincing that letting your kid to do a space startup 
is always a hard as you are mentioning everyone was mentioning the gestation period and the challenges that we faced but escuster made that job very uh, you know the slightly easy giving a confidence to the parents families of course to our chef also that we are building something that is very fascinating and which has a lot of interesting future so for that we are very grateful for escuster cabinet office and all, all the sponsor and all the mentors who came all the way to india uh, help to help us and then we have got a help in japan also the last but not the least i'd like to thank the cabinet office for arranging a whole two three visits to bangkok for semi final round and then come visits to tokyo and then final final, final event or final competition that are the fascinating uh, arrangements all the uh, all the booking ticket booking flight stay everything was just just my going so we all we got a lot to learn from operational point of view from the team that way so you know very life changing fascinating you know milestone for us winning the esbuster and going forward their support so thank you thank you very much thank you so much for your very encouraging message and presentation actually uh before inviting us this either one of you uh we we are receiving the question from the participants and uh, i would like to ask your support like why the funding from vcs into space tech has been low so far uh would you share your experience or view uh yeah. about this question i i i'll go first and then maybe can uh, other other panelists can add uh hello sanat so uh good to me see you here uh well so uh, you know space technology so uh if you see eight years uh, before in india uh investors were very comfortable on in investing into e-commerce uh, or some services startups then slowly slowly the investment the started coming into little more hardware startups little more technology oriented startup rather than just the services startups not like e-commerce and all those and then from the service from uh, you know hardware startups now this this uh, you know we are at the transition of investing into more and more deep tech technology this has to do with the multiple things like eco building of the ecosystem uh, the changing you know the mindset of the people the changing international uh, international arena in terms of how the space startups are going on so from services uh, to hardware related startups from hardware related startups to deep tech startup it's a transition it shows the maturity of the uh, ecosystem and the investors as the startups are maturing the investors are also maturing so so that has been the case for uh, india that we are just uh, starting up with the deep tech you know revolution in india the deep tech i mean when i say deep tech i mean uh, apart from the machine learning and ai related software uh, machine related startups uh, those hardware or someone who is doing taking actually deep tech apart from ai machine learning so those things we are just seeing the change it's just a matter of time we see that at a lot at a big big scale the investment in a specific startup and we believe india geopolitics wise uh, is placed at where uh, very few countries are placed geopolitics as well as the fact that we can offer you know uh, product technology at a much cheaper cost uh, to the world and we have a very good uh, bargain will band will to you know uh, ride on with the help of isro thanks to the lot of achievement by isro that india has a good reputation in the world in terms of isro so in and all even though it has been the less is just that it's uh, the no, absolute numbers does not matter the numbers is that you can see the number of deals that are changing uh, year by year and that is just uh, getting started and even saying that we need a lot more work to do uh, even to catch it up to say uh, uh, us space system uh, ecosystem or european space ecosystem or japanese space uh, ecosystem we have a far long way to go but i think we are going in the direction we need more push from that side and the whole government policies are also aligning in that same line thank you so uh, uh the trend has been like a changing and that there should be more like opportunities uh in the space sectors also and uh, you know the even for the especially that maybe like uh, you may have uh, met some investors but you know uh in the especially that final round we were inviting the investors uh, who are interested in like uh, investing in space sectors and uh, uh it's uh, uh getting increased uh so i believe that uh, 
uh, there will be a uh, more opportunity for startups to expand their business, I hope. And uh, also, I would like to invite uh, Ashtesh also uh, to share his uh, experience uh, from Espusta and also the incubation program in IIT Bombay and uh, also uh, for the international like a journey in your business. So, yeah, uh, good afternoon, everyone. And thank you, Cabinet Office and everyone for having us here. So yes, so I think most of the points Tushar has already covered, but I will add a few points which you know which were really helpful for us through the S poster program. So so as you know, we have already stressed a lot that you know, space is called as a final frontier. So you know you have to the space technologies are believed to solve problems for the whole world. So so there are a lot of assumptions you know you have to take when we start a startup. Uh, and we are developing a product and you know, we claim that that solution is going to one day serve customers throughout the world. You know? So lot of lot and lot of assumption because the Indian standards, US standards, European standards, Japanese standards, they are completely, you know, so, there are so many assumptions and uh, space tech is not like, you no, know, you are solving some kind of a regional problem. So you can stick to some one region or another. So at India level, we did a you know, lot of surveys uh, in ISRO, as uh, Poini said, and other uh, Indian defense. But we were really not sure before as Booster Key how will you know, internationally this technology will be looked at. So so as Booster kind of provided that opportunity, that exposure to us, where we you know uh, where we, we visited JAXA, as Tushar showed in the, uh, in, in the in the photos that we visited JAXA. We met Excel Space Inspectives, some of the leading space tech startups of, of the world, I would say, not just Japan. So, so talking to them when we, you know, we firsthand saw that this is, uh, this technology is something which the world needs. And you know, so after this, our confidence on the technology, our, you know, we see that uh, a term called you know, product market fit. So our confidence on that product market, market fit grew a lot. And obviously, you know, we had some great mentors, uh, Kai Ide-san and Ozaki-san. So Ozaki-san also actually he came to India. So we had set up a, a laboratory, a whole chemical processing laboratory inside IIT Bombay. We, and Ozaki himself is a uh, has a background from chemistry. So he we showed him our lab and facility. He gave a lot of interesting inputs. And uh, when we went there, we presented. We we talked to JAXA people, some of very interesting customers. Uh, learned from them what change in uh, strategies is required to you know approach. Uh, customers in this field so all those so this uh, validation kind of helped us a lot and so one of the results of it was the after coming from s booster within six months we got a contract for indian defense for about a million dollar uh, to sell our technology to india for indian defense satellites so so that was so so that was the amount of growth we you know got by going through the s booster program uh, both in terms of pitching, in terms of positioning the product in the market, and and various other things. So so in this in this way, as Booster was really lucky for us and was a very good uh, experience, uh, a very good learning experience. And also we made some very great friends who are with us till now and helping us whenever we need. Yeah. So yeah, that's it from my side. Thank you. Okay, um, so uh, now uh, we have a very limited time. Uh, so uh, before uh, receiving the uh, question uh, from all the participants, uh, I would like to uh, briefly introduce our SBUSTA uh, program uh, for uh, this year. I know that Tusha Ashtesh have already uh, shared a lot of uh, uh, nice uh, like experience uh, through the S booster, and the people probably have uh, some uh, better uh, image of the about the S booster. But uh, I would like to have some practical uh, announcement about the S booster this year. Uh, so uh, the again, the S booster is a space-based business idea contest hosted by the Cabinet Office of Japan. And uh, uh, we are actually uh, having a, not only the contest, we are giving additional value uh, of this contest 
uh, with supporting the finalists by providing the mentoring program uh, to brush up their business idea and uh, also the organizing the workshops. And uh, for the uh, in the final round, uh, we are going to select a grand prize winner and uh, we are going to uh, give an uh, award of the uh, uh, cash prize of 10 million Japanese yen in order for the winner to be able to accelerate uh, their uh, business. And uh, for the SBUSTA 2021, uh, we are uh, co hosted by JAXA and uh, NEDO, and uh, also like a sponsored by private companies. I will explain more in details later in my slide. And uh, also, uh, we are opening uh, the applications of Esposta, uh right now. And uh, we are supposed to close the deadline on 20th May, but we are extending the deadline until 31st May. So you're probably going to have a, a bit of time uh, to think about your business idea. And uh, please uh, uh, apply. And uh, after the applications, uh, we are going to, after this, we are going to have a document screening uh, with uh, the judging committees and the selected uh, uh, semi-finalists are going to have a pitch presentation in the first round. And then uh, from here, we are going to select the finalists and those finalists are going to have a opportunity uh, to join the workshops and the mentoring programs with the support of uh, experts and uh, to brush up their uh, ideas. And then uh, at the end, we are going to have a final round and award ceremony in 17th December in Tokyo. And uh, we are, uh, how to apply? Uh, we are welcoming the, any ideas under the, these uh, two main themes. One, uh, business, any business ideas for utilizing space assets in collaboration with Japan. Another one, uh, we are welcoming the ideas uh, of the theme set up by uh, sponsors. And uh, there are four sponsors setting up the themes this year. And the NTT Docomo, uh, they're the mobile operator, biggest mobile operator in Japan. And the Sky Pocket JSAT, uh, the satellite communication operator. And uh, also the Sony Group and uh, also uh, Honda R&D uh, setting up the eight themes. And uh, you can actually uh, visit the SBUSTA website and uh, you can see more detailed explanation of uh, each theme by these sponsors. And so I think uh, uh, most of them probably uh, have uh, a better knowledge of uh, the space and the space business, but uh, uh, let me repeat again, uh, you know, like when many people hear about the space and space business, people may think rocket launch and uh, for the satellites and also like an Elon Musk, and uh, these are the maybe the major uh, like things uh, you may describe, but uh, actually uh, it's not just uh, about this. And uh, we are actually uh, having the like a benefit uh, from the space asset in the ground segment also. And uh, one of them is a GPS and the cabinet office is also operating the services uh, of Japanese GPS. It's called the QZSS, so-called Michibiki. And uh, we are providing the uh, services in Asia Oceania regions. And uh, so far, like four satellites are in orbit, but around 2023, we are uh, going to increase the number of satellites from four to seven constellations. And then uh, the people in India also have uh, uh, better and uh, also like a more benefit of uh, these services. And uh, what uh, gives uh, what uh, this satellite gives is that uh, you can have uh, more uh, precise uh, positioning information, and uh, and then uh, you can uh, think about uh, the application. It's going to be 
uh, more varieties. And uh, you can uh, think about how you'd like to add the value by utilizing this uh, uh, positioning information into the application in various sector. And uh, also another uh, contribution by the space asset uh, in the ground segment uh, is uh, the satellite images. Uh, the satellite images uh, can uh, provide uh, the images uh, to monitor the Earth, uh, air quality, uh, the temperature, and uh, you can even actually uh, see uh, the like uh, for the crop like a monitoring also and so you can uh, by utilizing the satellite image you can also uh, add the value in the different fields also and uh, for applications uh, application form is available in the uh, SBOOSTAR 2021 website and uh, also, uh, you can uh, see more detailed explanation about the each theme uh, provided by sponsors. Please uh, click the logo of each sponsor and uh, check uh, if you, uh, you can have uh, any idea to apply for. And this is uh, all uh, from uh, is booster secretariat to the cabinet office. And uh, if you have any question, we are happy to answer. I think so far there is uh, no question. Okay. So um, later uh, we are going to uh, share uh, this uh, uh, recording and also uh, this uh, uh, information uh, to uh, your email. So, and also the SBOOSTA Secretariat has uh, set up the uh, email address mentioned in the SBOOSTA website. And if you have uh, any questions later, please do not hesitate to contact us. And uh, I think we have uh, one question. Uh, okay, so maybe we are going to... Uh, so like uh, uh, we are going to share the uh, link uh, to this chat box about the SBOOST uh, website link, application link. And before we uh, close the session, I would like to uh, have a message and a, a comments uh, to encourage the participants to apply for SBOOST. Uh, I would like to invite uh, uh, Dr. Suresh, Ms. Poini, and the Tusha and Ashtesh uh, to have a few comments. So I'd like to invite uh, Dr. Suresh first. I'm uh, uh, happy to know about your uh, initiatives uh, and the uh, pleasure that you are engaging with the Indian startup ecosystem. And, uh, uh, I am expecting some kind of impact because of the association that uh, we are having this year with you. And we look forward uh, for the continuous engagement uh, uh, with this booster so that we can see year on year there will be a growth and uh, there will be some outcome out of the initiatives in India. And uh, we look forward to have more applicants uh, from the Indian ecosystem for the initiative. Thank you very much. And I would like to invite uh, Ms. Poini. Sure. So it's really uh, good to know about the S Booster initiative, and I'm sure it must be like you know, um, the, the way uh, Manastu team actually shared their experience. It's very uh, like you know, uh, going through the process and all those things is very, very uh, um, helpful for uh, like getting connected to the right ecosystem across the world space cannot be more international. So there cannot be any other space which is more international than the space tech. That is one thing. And mm. second, yeah, and out there like uh, opportunity right from you, you mentioned about GPS to like even we have our own Navic and all those things. So there's a huge uh, potential now in space tech that is coming up here. And I would actually encourage 
uh, like uh, you already have a local president's uh, startup participating in this particular program. So especially for the message from the Indian participants, uh, you that it would be a good idea to participate, go through the process, connect internationally. You have local president who can mentor you. And, and then we will be happy to support any any startup coming from Japan also in collaborative space as well, as well as coming from Indian here. So that is what pretty much from our side. Happy to work with you. Thank you so much. And now Tusha and Ashtesh. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, so few things, apart from uh, the point mentioned by Dr. Suresh and Kony uh, the best part of this is that you don't, uh, the best good is that you don't need a complete product or a working prototype. Mm. So the, it you you can, uh, as good is open for idea level. Okay? Mm. So you even if you have an idea where you can write it down, what is the problem that you are facing? What is the solution? how you can market, what are your customer. If you have a paper design, that is good enough to start with. And that's why please, uh, just an idea funding, very few places you'll find a competitions where idea has been getting funded. Or, uh, and and that, is the, that is exactly the time when you need the most support in terms of mentoring, uh, connecting, connecting to the right people. And that's why I think this is a brilliant point to start with uh, at the, uh, in terms of if you are starting with a new thing and if you have just an idea, forget about even converting it to immediately thinking about converting into the startup. Just go through the process and see how good it is, what is viability and how we can make it big. And then you can think of then immediately with the support from S Booster and other ecosystem as we discussed today. Uh, and of course, startups like us, you can anytime take a plan, decide to take it into the startup forward. And we are always there happy to help all the time with all the fellow startups. If you are applying and if you already have an idea, uh, one or two, two, three good pointers that can help you. Uh, first, make sure uh, apart from the economical viability, it has a social impact in terms of serving to the large uh, set of people. Okay, show it to the in, in application, show it to an, at the time of presentation. So that helps a lot. So of course, economical viability and ability to make it at the scale is very important, but the social aspect plays a very important role. Second thing, it has the ability to affect the millions and millions of people. Billions will be good. Uh, so, ability to, to do that. And of course, third, ensure that it is something new, something different, something out of the box. Other things, other common things, many people are already doing it. So, something that is solving a problem at a very different point of view, substantially something that has not been solved. So, so those things will help you when you are filing application or while you are presenting to uh, judges. Uh, that will this point can help you. Thank you. And uh, Ashish. Yeah. So yeah. So so just to add on to that point, that you no know, very few competitions I have seen like as Booster, you know, where they are ready to handhold you to a from a level where you just have an idea. So you won't believe, so some of my friends or team members who from other startups who were applying in the booster who came to Thailand and Japan, they were still in their jobs and uh, they had some roughly formed ideas which they have you know, nicely put down on slides and, and, and the mentorship sessions were so strong that from that scale to when I talk to them now, like one of my friend Ariston in Philippines is uh, doing some great work in uh, so that time it was still at a concept level. Now they are way ahead. So so that is the power which you know very few platforms are giving. So I think definitely everyone should try. You know there is no harm in trying because you the in the process itself you will learn a lot. So that was one thing. And obviously and those who have already uh, beyond that idea stage for them it's a good stage for making more connects. As Koini Mem rightly said, like space has to be for the world. So. So in that way, that that would be a very good experience. So take apply for it, take a lot of advantage. We have got so much advantage. You all can also take and feel free to reach out to me or to Shar on LinkedIn, Facebook. We will be happy to help in the application process. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I think uh, it's uh, time to close the session. 
And uh, once again, I would like to thank you for all the participants uh, to join the uh, webinar today. And also special thanks uh, to Dr. Suresh, Ms. Poini, and uh, Ashtesh and Tusha uh, for the very informative input. And uh, finally, uh, we are looking forward to receiving a very interesting ideas uh, from India and uh, look forward to seeing you all again. And uh, please uh, stay safe and uh, have a nice day and evening. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Yoko. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Take care.